My main concern is our head scientist. This is the moon. Flat, desolate. The surface is actually a complex topography. Okay, thank you, Bill the Science Guy. John, your character, Dr. Mallory, has a very close working relationship with Mark Naird, Steve Carell's character. How would you describe their working relationship? Contentious. General Naird, Stephen Carell's character, has this relationship or this amount of contention with most of the things in his life meaning he has that with his social media person, F. Tony, who Ben plays. He has that with his wife. He has that with his daughter. I think they have a really good relationship. I think she's been a really dutiful and good team player, you know, general's wife. I think at one point they had a very, very strong father-daughter relationship. And I think the massive life changes have put pressure on that and have kind of shaken things up. How are you handling this? It's a little chaotic. And you're not the most flexible person. Are you running? Keep up. Now, of course, you and Steve work together on The Office. Why do you think fans of The Office will love Space Force? The character of Mark Naird is pretty different from Michael Scott. But, uh, you know, and it doesn't look at all the same. This is a much more cinematic, uh, big scope show. But, you know, I think that they will recognize the sense of humor that's behind things and maybe the sort of spirit of an approach to human beings. The flag for the actual U.S. Space Force was recently revealed. Have you seen yeah. it? I have. And, you know, what's funny is that we went through our design process, I think, a little bit before them because we uh, we had to shoot. The graphic designers did present a flag that looked an awful lot like that to me, but I thought it was too much like Star Trek, so I, I didn't think it was believable. <laughs> we are training for the worst case scenario. It's a lot of weight and it's hot. <laughs> now your characters kind of start to form a budding relationship throughout the course of season one. If there's a season two, do you think we'll see that connection continue to grow? Yeah, I, I think I will be very interested to see how that develops. It could be all roses and they get married or they could never talk to each other again. You know, who knows? I have no idea. I want to throw a hashtag out there. Hashtag Changela. You're trying so hard to get this going. So Jimmy. hard. So hard. It's going to happen. <laughs> The, you know, the best hashtags are started by the people they're about. <laughs> <laughs> this is Space Force Head Media Manager. We're looking for American heroes. Let me be more clear. We're looking for people who look like heroes. No uggos. Why do you think this is the perfect show to watch while we're all staying home? Because it's funny. I mean, just for the cast, I, I want to watch it. In terms of quarantine, in terms of where we are right now, and uh, I, I found that... Uh, the idea of just making people laugh is a great release of anxiety, is a way to just get joy. I think that this show is going to be able to really make people laugh. Uh, outside of being, you're going to see great acting with Steve and John. You're going to see great actors, great writing. And with or without the quarantine, this is the perfect show to watch. You have Steve Carell and Greg Daniels teaming up again. So imagine if this is The Office uh, that's shot like a $100 million Marvel movie. There's so many comedy legends in this show. So this is a good uh, jumping off point. Once you finish Space Force, you can watch everything that everyone in it has ever done. And then maybe the pandemic will be over. Jamaica, ooh,